Real interesting question from our buddy, I'm not gonna say his name, but essentially he's been, in the past, he's practiced some really strange masturbation uh, habits. This is basically what he says. Uh, I'm not gonna try to visualize or assume what type of strange masturbation habits this was, but I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to proceed from a place where I am feeling you probably jerked off quite a bit, right? And now, you're dealing with a situation where when you're actually in the presence of a warm-blooded woman, his dick doesn't work. Now, he doesn't have any problem getting an erection, right? He gets what he calls morning wood. He's very sexually excited by women, but when the time comes to lay down the smack, he simply can't get it up or he goes down, you know, gets it up, reaches out, and then recedes. And, uh, and it's, it, obviously, it's a big problem. You know, you can't get into any type of sexual relationship with a woman because no dick, right? So here, here's just a little perspective for you with regard to what, how you damage yourself, right? And, and this may be resourceful for, for you or not. But when you're masturbating, you're making love to an image, right? Now, you do have your hand, and your hand is warm, right? And you're, you're jerking yourself off. But the way you're able to arouse yourself is based on a image, an idea, right? Either you're watching it on the screen or you're thinking about it in your head. But there is no energetic connection. There's no heart to heart, and there's no real vagina near you, right? And the essence of sexual contact is manifested through a heart connection that drives itself into our sexual organs. You feel when you fall in love or when you feel sexual, this whole area of your body, your heart, swells up, it gets warm, it gets hot, you know? That's why a woman does this, when she sees a hot man. This whole area, your heart swells with lust, with affection, and it, energetically and physiologically drives itself into your sexual organs, right? These sexual organs engorge with blood, right? The heart brings blood to the organs, right? So an engorged, palpitating heart filled with lustful feelings towards someone aids in the, the swelling and the erections of the vagina and the, and the penis. And, uh, and right now, you're, you've been able to create the hard penis that ejaculates without the heart connection, without feeling another human being. You've done it with your head. So I've often talked about how you've got, you've got three centers of mind. You're thinking with three brains. You've got your heart, your head, your heart, and your balls. The heart and the balls play the biggest part in our ability to enjoy sexual relationships with people. The head has nothing to do with sex. In fact, the reason why we enjoy orgasm so much is because the head shuts off and the body flushes with good sexual feelings, right? It floods our entire body. Oh, our body gets let go. And, and the reason why our body can let go and feel so good is because the head is out of the way. You, on the other hand, are using your head to have sex, right? Not that one, this one. And, and, and what you're doing now is you're carrying it into the situation with another woman, right? Now, so you have, actually have a warm-blooded woman here, but your nervous system is constructed in such a way that it's, it, it doesn't know how to respond and cannot receive the heart, the energetic heart connection that should be available with another human being, right? As opposed to the mental construct of sexuality. So you've kind of, you, you've, you've twisted yourself up here. Solution or an offer, an invitation. You're going to have to find a very empathetic, caring woman that is willing to work with you, right? And I can make some suggestions about how you're gonna find that woman, right? You, you literally have to get out of your head and you gotta go and find a woman that knows how to share love, right? And sometimes that's, that's, that's difficult. Sometimes the most loving women aren't the ones that fulfill your ego gratification, right? You mentioned long legs, you really like long legs. She might be short and fat, but if you can receive, if you're sensitive enough to receive the heart connection with this woman and explain to her what's going on and have her work with you as a project where you're both serving each other, right? There are a lot of women, there are a lot of people who get off on just helping people, right? They, like, she would feel as if a, she's a mother to you. Women have these hormones 
um, oxytocin, things of that nature, that, that make them want to, some women have more of it, make them want to help, make them want to help a man, especially a man that's down. Right? You're a down man. You're gonna, find a, you're gonna have to find a woman who is a very matriarchal woman who has motherly feelings that she can have towards you. This all sounds freaking weird, dude, but this, is, this would be my suggestion if I were you. Has motherly feelings towards you, and you can yield and soften into her love. And you'll know this is happening when you're with her. Dude, chances are she's not going to be that pretty, right? She's not gonna be that gorgeous. Because you, it's gotta, it can't be from your head. And if she's gorgeous and she somehow has a, a there's a pictorial connection between what you think is beautiful and what she, she actually is, you're gonna be too tied up in your head. And you're gonna get nervous and you're gonna be like, oh, she, she really needs to be like kind of homely, right? And then you need to yield into her witchcraft of love and, and open up and you're gonna have to yield to her. You're gonna have to soften up to her. You're gonna have to become like a vulnerable little boy in her hands. And then as your heart softens, as you start to get feelings, get it, you, the, the, one of the problems is you're not in touch with your feelings. You're all up in your fucking head. Once you start getting in touch with your feelings, right? Close your eyes if you have to. And you start to feel her. And she's giving you warm feelings. She's sharing her warm feelings with you. You're receiving and you can give it back to her. And you know you're giving it back to her because your dick is gonna get hard. You'll know this is happening because you, well, first of all, your dick's gonna get hard, but Pay attention to your breathing. You'll be breathing into your balls. You'll be breathing softly. You'll be breathing in, in a very comfortable fashion. Take notice, when you're with these other women, right, that, that your dick's just not getting hard, you're, you're probably breathing very shallow, right? It's all, you, you know everything about what's going on energetically and physiologically based on your breath. Breath, it's all about the fucking breath. Pay attention to how you're breathing, and you'll notice that when you're with these women that you would like to have sex with, but like you, Mr. Happy is just not working, you're, you're, you're breathing pretty shallow. You're not breathing into your balls. But when you find this womanly woman, right? <laughs> you gotta have to go out there and find her, bro. She's there, they're all there. These type of women are always among us, right? Except they just, we, we don't see them because they don't match up with our, the figment of our imagination. But they're very loving. They're, they have a lot of that oxytocin. They want to soften, they want to pet you. You're gonna let, you have to let her pet you. Find her, I bet, you she's, I bet you she's like your neighbor. I bet you she's pretty close to you. But anyway, soften to her and then harden with her. And you may or may not continue to have sex with her or you may not have sex at all, but let her have a piece of the, the stiffness when it comes up because she, she deserves it because she's going to give it to you. There's that woman out there that's going to give you an erection, dude. You just got to find her, soften up to her. And then perhaps if you, if, if, if you can carry that with you into other relationships or maybe you just fall in love with her, right? Maybe that's it. Maybe you find her and that's it. In fact, it's my conviction that if you find the heart connection with an individual and the dick connection with that individual, Right? Regardless of what the head says, that's your woman, right? Because you can, you can rest in her. You want to find a woman that you can rest in. See, these other women you're trying to be active with. You need to find a woman that you can rest in. And if your heart can soften and your dick gets hard, you can just rest in her. So that's it, bro. Hope that helps.